Next we talk about making magnets. So what are the ways that we can use to make magnet? The first way is actually what we call your stroking method. Okay, this is what we can do to make a magnet. So if I have a metal bar here, okay, in this case we can use a steel bar. Okay, this is a steel bar. We can use a magnet to stroke it. Alright, so we have a magnet here, a north here, a south here. We stroke it through. We let it go round and round, stroke it through a few, t many, many times. Okay, and what's going to happen is, at this end of the magnet, of this end of the steel bar, it will become a south pole. At this end of the magnet, it will become a north pole. This is what happens. Okay, example. When the North Pole reaches here, so let's use an orange color, okay, the bar it becomes like this, correct? Now, when it leaves, it creates a South Pole here. So, when the magnet, okay, so what we can say here, the end of the magnetized steel bar, where the stroke finish, okay, this is where the stroke finishes, will have an opposite polarity of the end of the magnet in contact. So if there's a north pole here at the end before it leaves, it'll become a south pole here for the steel bar. Okay, so stroke, north pole here, and it leaves, this will become a south pole. This is what we termed as a single touch method. Right, we have the other one which is called the divided touch method. Right, this one is relatively um, similar, but in this case here, what we're going to have is two different magnets. Okay, two different magnets. We're going to do it in two different motion. Okay, so the two magnets will go this way. What is here? This will be a south pole because the magnet just before it leaves. It is a north pole here, it's a south pole here. So a south pole is induced here. At this end, what we're going to have is a south pole here, a north pole here. So what's going to be induced here? It's a north pole. So the divided touch and the single touch method, you can apply the same way of determining where's the north pole and the south pole for the induced, for the created magnet. Okay, this is known as your stroking method. The second way of creating a magnet is by what we call the electrical method using solenoid. So how do we use the electrical method using solenoid? Very simple, we will set up a circuit okay, with a solenoid. A solenoid is actually a coil of insulated copper wire. So just think of it as a coil of wire. Then we have a switch here, followed by our DC current. Okay, so what we can do is, okay, sorry, let me put a resistor here. Otherwise, there'll be a short circuit. All right, now, we're going to switch on. Okay, first up, what we can do is, we can put our steel bar inside here, inside the solenoid. Alright, sorry for the lousy drawing. We put the steel bar inside the solenoid. Then we switch on the circuit. When we switch it on, the steel bar will become magnetized. Okay, we just switch it on for a while. We can magnetize the steel bar. And what's going to happen is that our steel bar, when it becomes magnetized, is we can just switch off the current, or switch off the circuit, and the steel bar becomes a magnet already. In actual fact, we can determine where's the north pole and the south pole using this thing called the right hand grip rule. But we will use this later on. For now, just know that there's two main methods of making magnet. First is known as the stroking method. Second is known as the electrical method using the solenoid. So that's all.